hi guys um welcome to the first video of the series and um, in this series i'm going to be taking you through stream leads we are going to be starting from the basics and uh, with time we are going to be leveling up to the advanced um, um, level of um, stream lead. so but in this particular video i'm just going to be introducing you to stream leads and um, i'm going to be um, explaining why you should use stream lead and I'm giving some of the applications of Streamlit, right? So let's um, dive in. So Streamlit is an open source Python library for creating and sharing um, web applications for data science and machine learning project. See, for example, you have um, built a model, you have trained the model. Now you want to share this model with the world. So you need a platform to be able to deploy this model in such a way that um, a non-technical person can actually understand um, what you have built and actually interact with it because not all or not not everybody can actually interact with your your model just as you interact with it on jupyter notebook or vs code or whichever um, id that you you use for the project right now so let's delve in, into more of what streamlit is right so Streamlit is an open source um, app framework for, Pyth for Python and it is written in Python language, um, not JavaScript or any other kind of a programming language that you might have um, heard of. So it's basically written um, in Python language and it helps us to create web app for data science and machine learning projects within a short period of time. And it's also, it's also compatible with major Python libraries such as um, scikit-learn, Keras, PyTorch, and uh, the rest of the um, machine learning libraries that you might know of, right? Okay, so why should you use Streamlit, right? We've been talking about Streamlit. Now, let's understand why you should use Streamlit or there are some of the advantages of actually using Streamlit, okay? So Streamlit is appealing. It, it, it has an appealing interface for model um, interaction. Say, for example, that you've built a sentiment analysis application and you want um, an end user to interact with it. So Streamlit gives you the opportunity to create like an input where um, a user can post or paste his or a text to get um, the sentiment of what the text is trying to say, whether um, it's positive or whether it's negative or whether it's neutral or whatever class that um, you might have in your data set, right? So it has an appealing interface for model interaction. It is very easy to use. Um, it is easy to deploy. It's easy to deploy with, um, it, in, it, it integrates well with um, cloud computing services like AWS or Heroku or Render or what other cloud services that you might want to um, use for it, right? And also it has um, a very large online community support say for example you are trying to um carry out a tax on streamlit and you you are having an error so you can easily go to their community they have a community online then you can uh, post your questions and you can and you get feedback uh, immediately from the community right so also it supports um use of external libraries if for example you might want to integrate um um, say some Python library like Seaborn or Plotly or Matplotly, so it 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 integrates well with those kind of um, external Python libraries, right? All right. Um, let's look at some of the application of Streamlit. So we can use Streamlit for sentiment analysis app, like I mentioned earlier. Um, we can use it for predictive machine learning. We can also use it for object um, detection application, for COVID-19 data exploration, and also for interactive um, data visualization. So as we move on, we're going to be building some of these projects, and you're going to be understanding what I'm trying to um, 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 say or what I'm trying to pass on. All right, so that's it for from me for now. So I would see you in the next video.